This is cool and all, but it's snowing really hard. Well, it looks like going to my favorite scenic point while it's snowing isn't happening. It'll be over our heads if we continue down this path with snow coming down like this. So at this point, let's just turn around. We went all this way just to turn around. If you'd like to be trapped in a snowstorm, be my guest, Epona, but I'm going back to the shelf where it's safe and more than negative one degrees Fahrenheit. Before we go, I just have one more quick thing I want to do. Remember what we talked about, Iceberry. If it doesn't hurt you or the horses around you, then you can do whatever it is you want. Iceberry, come on, get out of the snow! Wait, can you guys see me? You're about as stealthy as a hippo among a herd of sheep. So you can't see me. Okay, at this rate, we'll be buried in snow by the time we even move a hoof, so let's get a move on, please. Y'all are really missing out. I think there's a little bit of grass down here. All in favor to leave her, say aye. Epona, we're not leaving anyone. Besides, that'd be cruel to leave her out here. She can barely make it afoot without getting sidetracked. She'd never make it home. Exactly. Further proves my case. Yikes, I forgot how mean you can be sometimes. All right, you party poopers, I'm coming. Right, let's just keep going. I'm freezing out here. All right then, we'll go through the back door of the house since it's going to be quicker than turning us all around and going through the front again. Less talking, more moving, please. Ugh, that's so far away. I should have listened to my subconscious when it told me not to come. Maybe if we focused rather than whined, we'd already be there. Well, in that case, pave the way, bear. Oh, brother, the snow is up to my ears out here. Actually, that's a bit of an exaggeration. It's only up to our weathers, if that. My point still stands. Yeah, uh, we might have bit off a little more than we can chew. Yeah. Remember that one time when you literally bit off more than you could chew? You swallowed that whole carrot, or I mean, at least tried to, and you were fine then. Why shouldn't we be fine now? I, I don't think that ever happened. You know, why don't you focus on walking rather than talking? Might as well own it, Bear. We were all there. Besides, nobody's forgetting anytime soon. Trust me. I'm so cold, and that white stuff looks so warm and cozy. I'm gonna go in. Wee! Iceberry, for the love of- You've literally been in the snow, it's not warm. He's right, that just made me ten times colder. We should all listen to King. I mean, yes, we should all listen to me. Uh, how does snow get on me? Can we just go back to the shelf? Yeah, no duh, Sherlock. That's what we've been trying to do for the past 30 minutes. And the snow's on your back because you rolled in it. Oh, isn't Sherlock that, like, really smart detective guy? I meant it sarcastically. You know what? Why do I even bother at this point? I know she's just gonna forget and it's gonna repeat. Thanks. I've always felt like there was something different about me. Maybe the snow got on me when I jumped in it and I rolled around. It could have gotten on my back then. No, no, that's not a big surprise. I literally just told you that. Jeez, I can practically feel icicles coming out of my nose. You think you have a bad? There's literally icicles coming off of my chin. It's not a competition of who has it the worst. Besides, we're all out here together. I don't know. I just don't want my plastic to freeze or anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it, but I'm pretty sure your precious plastic will be fine. <laughs> right, well, don't come to me when your leg breaks off because it's frozen over and you stepped on it wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you know when that happens. Good news, everyone. All your nonsensical small talk made this little adventure go by a lot quicker, and we are almost a few steps away from our safe haven. Oh, uh, yeah. Cool, um, where's Iceberry, actually? What do you mean, where's Iceberry? She's literally right, the... Where's Iceberry? I should have known. It was way too long for her to go without talking. My question to you, King, is how do you even lose track of her? She was literally right in front of you. I don't know, Bear, maybe it's because literally icicles are hanging over my eyelids. Okay, hold up. Is that... is she over there? She's eating grass. She knows she's plastic, right? Honestly, Bear, she probably thinks she's a real horse, but 
I mean, who's gonna explain it to her, right? So, who wants to go get her? She's like a million miles away, and we're literally almost at the house. I'm sure she'll just figure it out eventually. We've been over this, we're not just leaving her. And besides, she's our family, we care about her. Well, if you care about her so much, maybe you should be the one to go get her. No, I have to stay here, I'm, I'm, I'm leading you guys around, so I have to, you know, I have to watch things. Really, really, what are you watching exactly? This argument is gonna last all day. Seems like it's fair if I go get her anyways. Let's go. It's not that I don't care about her, it's that I don't care enough about her to go get her. So you don't care about her? Okay, well, see, now you're twisting my words. What a surprise! Hey, King! Hey, um, right, I've just come to get you, and now I think we're gonna head back because they're waiting on us. Good thing you guys came to get me. I was just eating here one second, and then I look up, and you guys were gone. Just like that. Maybe it's because you just disappeared unannounced. Yep. Anyways, um, let's go back before they start to really worry about us. Sounds all good to me. I'm freezing out here. Come on, Epona, we're losing daylight. She'll probably freeze to death before we even make a decision on who goes. Hey everyone, we're back. Dang, already? How long have we been arguing? Anyways, thanks, King. You really pulled through for us on this one. As per usual. When have I not? Yeah, yeah, we're sorry. Let's just go home now. It's been way too long of a day. Hi, Huff. You owe me five carrots. I told you if we argued long enough, he'd just go and get her eventually. Wait, what? Um, yep, I agree with you, King. It's freezing out here. Let's head back. Well, welcome back, everyone. How was your guys' little trip? I want to hear all about it. It was so much fun. I mean, we had a good time, but it was kind of pointless. We didn't even get to see that viewpoint Bear was talking about. I mean, we had an adventure, and we all made it back to the shelf safely. Could have been a lot worse. Well, wasn't there five of you guys? Uh, where is Zeus? Well, I would say this is well worth it, guys. Um, guys? Guys?